Hello, my lovelies. <laughs> we are just on our way um, to see Max. To, we're going to his house because we have a few bits to um, bring him. He's left his cactus. He had a cactus in his bedroom on a window that he's had since the cactus was a little baby and he's huge now. Very big cactus. So we're taking that to him and a few other bits. I look very rosy. I just filmed um, the Sigma lashes bronzers. I'm filming on my phone also, so I don't know what the picture is like. Anyway, that's where we're going with Louis. Look, I have just been sent by this company, Lou Blue Blue Lou, <laughs> a cordless vacuum cleaner. It looks a bit like Dyson so I am going to put it together give it a go and I will show you how it works so you've got your manual and all the attachments and there is a main thing main vacuum right exciting so I've put it together it is charging now. It was very easy to put together. It has few attachments. It has these attachments and it has a spare filter and this little brush to clean it. It's got a blade here as so well to cut the hair from the head because we get this bit that you can attach to the wall and then the vacuum goes in here to be stored but unlike Dyson I think Dyson never stood on its own it kept falling over this one stands on its own so we will see once it is almost fully charged uh, we will see how it works so I have tried this vacuum and it's brilliant it's really light it's so easy slides and glides on the floor or on a carpet or on a rag it has that you know spinning brush but it's the new brush that has oh god maybe i will show you it doesn't have like these rows of hairs because that's when all the hair gets caught in it you have three settings minimum medium and maximum so you obviously want maximum for the carpet and you might want medium or low for floors so let me show you the, what i mean about the brush that the hair shouldn't be getting caught so much in it but if it does you i showed you that um, tool that has little blade that you can cut the hair and remove it okay can you see the brush so it's a bit different that I see in other vacuums. Also, you can remove this brush. You see this button here on the side. You can remove the brush and clean it. And here you've got the speed, minimum, medium and maximum. Okay, so you put your foot on here and let me turn it on. Oh, it's got a light on. I never noticed that. So you can see when you do things underneath. It turns on on medium. I'm going to do max. Here is all the fluff from my rag and also this stands on its own so you know with Dyson I think Dyson would never stand on its own you had to lean it on something or attach it to the wall this one stands on its own and also another great thing because I used to have a Dyson that looked like this and I hated it first of all it didn't last long I think don't quote me on that, but I think this one has 40 minutes of um, continuous use. Um, Dyson didn't last that long. 
and also you had to continuously press the button hold the button for it to work this one just has click on click off so yes i'm really happy with it and obviously the price is amazing it's nothing like the dyson so yeah we'll leave you the link have a look i'm not getting paid for it or anything just someone this company sent it to me to try so i thought i'd share it with you right today it's a, a lovely warm day and we would like to go out with Louis, but it might be hot, too hot for him. So I might have to do it later or make sure that we go somewhere where he has continuously water, like by that river, so he can always cool himself down. Um, but if we go somewhere, I will, of course, film Louis for you. Oh. Are you having a drink? Okay, go this way, Louis. The hill. So long ago, that grass. The cows were all trying to drink at the same time, pushing each other. Really? Really shoving. One was jumping on top of the other one. They didn't <laughs> like any of it. <laughs> was he scared? Like, they really bully, bully each other. Look, Lolly, Momo's lying in the sun. They're really small. Are they babies? Yeah, they're all youngsters. <laughs> <laughs> what has that one got in his mouth? Today he found something. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a um, perm roller. There's obviously water in there. Yeah, not much, look. Look, he's almost in the middle of it and he's not even that deep. Oh, he's dirty. Oh, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Going the other one. He says I'm, I'm he says I'm not sure how deep it is. I need to check it out. Oh my goodness, you swallow that quickly. You'll choke. Come on then. No one is out, it's just us. Oh, show us your scar. Look how good it is healing. I can't see anything. It's really good. He heals very well, my husband does. Unlike me. Until you hit me again. <laughs> Keeps trying to tell people that it was me that hit him with a glass bottle. It's really quiet. It's probably because it's quite hot. Um, so I don't know how far we will go. We, we're trying to follow the river so that we can have a dip because I don't want it to get too hot. But yeah, it's really, really quiet. We maybe have seen a couple of people. I am wearing out low cut top for the first time because you know of my laser treatment so actually tomorrow i am going for my last laser treatment i'm so fed up with it i've told you before i should have done it in the winter because straight after the treatment for at least two weeks i can't have that out in the sun even with the suntan lotion on so I'm fed up with wearing polo necks virtually. <laughs> Hang on, I talk to you in a minute.
Oh, Louis, I think I'm gonna go in with you. Okay. Join you. It's just I would have to then sit down to let my feet dry off, otherwise it's sliding yeah. off while I'm walking. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I was saying that I have to wear like polo necks, which is annoying. And even now, I don't know. Well, she said I can. Obviously, I I'm not lying out in the sun sunbathing. But I can have this part out in the sun. I've put like a 50 SPF on before we came out. So, yes, I'm not happy that I've started this journey so late. But I have to finish it now. So that's the story. The thing is, I can't see. Oh, I think I've got it. Lucky boy. Look. What? Louis. <laughs> Louis. Ready? Uh. <laughs> Lee. Quick, get it. I get you another one. Ready? Louis. Get the leaf. enough. Oh, you always shake right next to me. So I just finished my laser treatment. Look. Oh, <laughs> looks like raw chicken skin. Oh, today was I had to even tell her to stop at one point just for a few seconds because each time she increases the intensity each appointment but this was my last appointment I might go back if I'm happy with it I might go back in the winter and just have another three treatments like maintenance because this is good for rejuvenating your skin as well so yeah it was a bit stingy today as you can see, I've got no eye makeup on, and there is a reason for it. So about a week and a half ago, I bought a new a Juvia's Place palette. Really lovely, it's sort of cool browns with lovely shimmers. And I bought bronzer from them as well, and a lip gloss, and I had all the boxes and everything on the table where I film. And today I, I thought, oh, I'm going to put this palette on my eyes. Could I find it? No. So it wasn't on my table, even though the bronzer was there. Um, I went to look in my vanity, couldn't find it there. And then I thought, wow, I probably threw it away. So I remember the other day I was throwing the boxes away, the makeup boxes. Um, the bo I was throwing the boxes that the makeup came in. And I thought, what if I threw this palette away? So. I resign myself to the fact that I threw it away but then I had a thought so I have separate basket where I put quite new makeup in so if I want to film a video with it I know it's there <laughs> and that's where the palette was but it was too late then for me to sit down and put it on because I had to come here for my appointment so this was a very long story of very unimportant thing I don't have eye makeup on. I might go home and put it on. I don't like myself without eye makeup on. Well, I don't mind as long as I've got foundation on. Anyway, I'm going to go home now. I can't relax, you know. So after she finishes this laser treatment, she puts um, like the blue light on me. Uh, to calm it down and I was lying there thinking oh my god I'm bored now I just want to go <laughs> instead of relaxing after this treatment I just wanted to go right I'm going I'm going home hello I'm out with Louis I am exhausted so I've been filming all day fashion video 
and now I remember why I don't do them very often. I did it in my new bedroom. It was actually really good. So I've got air conditioning there. So if I get too hot, I can put that on. And also no one was in my way. I wasn't in no one's way. So it was really lovely to be there. But it is so difficult. So you have to forgive me that in certain places, the picture goes a bit blurry. So what happens, usually you need someone else to stand at the camera and see if you are constantly in focus because the camera sort of tracks your face but if you walk away too quickly from it, it might lose the focus. So I have to every time turn the camera on and like very, very slowly walk away for it to keep tracking my face and focusing on me. But it doesn't always work, obviously. And I can't see from a, once I walk away from the camera, from that distance, I can't see, especially with my eyesight, if I'm in focus or not. So I'm sorry, you can still see the clothes, but in some of them, my face is a bit blurred. Also, I forgot that, I don't know if you can see it in the sunshine, on, on some clips, you can see this horrible bit on my chest. You know, I've had, I've only had my laser treatment like four days ago and uh, and now all the brown spots are coming up to the surface so it looks quite disgusting <laughs> uh, so yes I have um, disgusting looking chest go blurry in places but I am really excited about this video so I'm going to post it on Wednesday you will see it this Wednesday the hair video can wait because I have been sent some shoes, but not just ordinary shoes. So I will show them to you um, in that video. So I will post that video on Wednesday, and then I am going film. I am going to film another fashion video. So this one was, you know, what we were talking about. This sort of casual, chic, um, sort of what to wear when you're shopping or going to lunch with your girlfriend and the next one I will do more like colorful outfits because you know all the it's, it's very 80s isn't it like the suits colorful suits are in fashion so I will do something like that oh and I've got my blinds now in that room so I will show them to you when I get back and then I might sit down tomorrow and talk to you about something as well that is really, really bothering me. Um, and maybe you have some suggestions. All right, my lovelies, I will see you tomorrow. Well, I will show you the blind when I get home. Go on, Louis, go and see Momos. You got scared of Momo. Momo, we talk to him like to a child. So here is my blind. You see, so it's like this. Or if I go like this, then you can't see it. It's clever and it does the job. Oh, I can then lift it completely. It does the job and it looks quite nice. So I need some curtains. I have here some samples for bed upholstery or curtains. So I haven't decided yet. Hello, my lovelies. It's Saturday today. We've just been to town. Well, we came back about an hour ago. Uh, Paul and I, we had a nice time. I didn't buy anything, just as well, because if you saw the amount of boxes that I have here to send back. So, you know, I've been buying a few things 
Um, remember I was complaining not long ago that there is nothing nice in shops or online to buy, but suddenly um, the new stuff, I saw so many things that I like that um, I've bought quite a few bits. But when you shop online, you know the sizes. Like I can be three different sizes in one shop. So been sending and ordering things back and forth all the time. Papo is very happy because he bought more knives. Honestly, that man and knives. So what I just did, I actually just, we had like a really lovely block of Japanese knives for years. <clears throat> and I said to Paul, you can only buy the new set of Japanese knives if we can get rid of that one. So we're going to give that one to Max. Max is very happy. I'm happy. Paul is happy. Everybody is happy. So <laughs> Paul bought knives and some pans, cooking pans. I don't know what it is with him. Anything to do with the kitchen, gadgets, knives, pans. He doesn't cook. The only thing he can cook and he's very good at is fry up breakfast. That's it, the English fry up breakfast. But for some reason, he loves all the gadgets. Oh, I tell you what I almost bought. So on the Charlotte Tilbury counter, this eyeshadow quad piqued my interest and I looked at it and it's the, the latest pillow talk. What is it called? Pillow talk something. And I knew that the new Pillow Talk stuff came out, but I didn't even look at it. I thought she's a bit overdoing this Pillow Talk. Everything is Pillow Talk. So I didn't even look at it, but I saw it in real life today, that quad, and it was really pretty. And I was standing there talking to, to the sales assistant and I said, oh, I probably don't need it. And then I said, oh, go on then, I, I will have it. But uh, she went to look for it and they've sold out. They've sold out one last one early on that day. So I didn't buy it. Um, I'm not going to rush and buy it online. But who knows, when I'm in town again, I might buy it if they have it. So we had a nice time. We had coffee because we don't often go out shopping together. Um, and Paul likes shopping. I mean... He will even, you know, if I go from shop to shop trying things on, he will drag with me and, or he will go and sit on a bench outside. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's all right. But I told you yesterday, I want to talk to you about something. Oh my God, look at this. This is so disgusting. It's really, really coming up. And I've also put some fake tan on. I couldn't bear it any longer. And maybe that made these spots even darker. They are disgusting. But I know in another week or so, you will all slough off. So but for now, I have to hide it. Because, you know, I've had my last laser treatment. Uh, so I hope when this is all healed, it will look lovely. So what I wanted to talk to you about, I am so upset. So I've been suffering now with this bloat for weeks, months really. You know, I went on this no carbs or very low carb diet and I stayed on it for a month. Absolutely nothing happened. I was still bloated. Um, I thought maybe I would lose a bit of weight. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't ever weigh myself. I know by my clothes if I've lost weight or not. But because I'm so bloated all the time, I feel like this blow up doll. Um, and it's so uncomfortable and so upsetting. And I just don't know anymore what to do about it. So I've been researching a bit and it seems that I might have some sort of digestive problems or I don't digest my things properly or I need pre and probiotics and all that stuff because the other day and I virtually do intermittent fasting not not um, intentionally I just don't feel like eating in the mornings I have cup of tea first thing in the morning, then I have a cup of coffee and my first meal is about 11, 12 um, midday and then I have dinner about 5.30 and that's it. Sometimes I will have some blueberries in the evening so 
so I eat really just two meals a day and um, what was I going to say what about the intermittent fasting which should be very beneficial and help you with all that sort of stuff but no so the other day all I had to eat was my first meal was like two hard-boiled eggs that's it so I'm back on eating bread but still I don't eat bread every day and I limit myself to two slices a day if I have it I've actually started buying proper sourdough bread because I did some research into that I actually wanted to make my own make my own starter you know sourdough starter but all this feeding is a bit too much I don't I might do it in the winter um, when I'm bored or something because <laughs> there is so much that goes into it. it takes like two days to make bread if you already have the starter um, yeah, sourdough bread is has much lower, much lower Ig, and because it has that life matter in it, you know, the, all the friendly bacteria are supposed to be better for you. Anyway, so I still don't eat much bread, but that day I had just two eggs for my first meal, and in the evening I had just salad with some tuna, just tuna in water no oil nothing and by the end of the night I felt so bloated and enormous and it really gets me down because I understand if I was eating lots of sugary things and and just eating all day but I don't it just really really upset me so I've been researching it a bit and I'm thinking well maybe I need to do something about my gut it's so important to have a healthy gut and I know all this. Anyway, I bought myself a digestive enzyme complex. So just a supplement that I take with my meal, hopefully to help me digest my food. Um, I also drink apple cider vinegar, but it's the organic raw and unfiltered. So you can see the cloudiness and you have to shake it really well so you get that friendly bacteria from it i just take a tablespoon and i mix it with water and i just take a shot first thing in the morning um also for i always get confused with pre or probiotic but sauerkraut i love sauerkraut you know as a kid i grew up on sauerkraut in poland we eat lots of that stuff so I eat a cup of sauerkraut every day, but sauerkraut bloats me, you know, it's cabbage. So, so I don't know, I might leave the sauerkraut. And I just remembered something. I bought the Actimel. I know this is probably like not the best thing, but I remember suffering with exactly the same thing years and years ago. I don't even know if I had Max then. Maybe I did. No, I didn't have Max. So very long time ago, um, I had this period that I was just constantly bloated and feeling so uncomfortable. I even went and had colonic irrigation, which was the most horrible experience in my life. Embarrassing. Oh, I'll, I'll never ever do it again. I even had that and that didn't help either. And I remember then buying myself Actimel and I drank that for two weeks and I was fine. So I wonder if there is something going on in my gut. Yes, you could say go and see a doctor. <laughs> Let's not go there. It's impossible to see a doctor, especially because you've got a bloated tummy. No one will even give you the time of the day. Plus, I don't feel the GPs know anything about that. And if you want to go to like gastric doctor, uh, like specialist, you still have to be referred by your GP. But you can't even get to talk to the GP. Honestly, it's, it's a nightmare. And I don't want to have anything to do with them if I don't have to. So that's why I'm trying to sort myself out. So I've been, you know, listening to some nutritionists and, and trying to maybe do it myself. But I was wondering if any of you have had that or are going through it have you managed to sort it out what did you do so any advice would be appreciated today actually 
I don't feel as bad, but what seemed to be happening to me is I can wake up with a flat tummy, but by the end of the evening, doesn't matter if I've eaten, haven't eaten, eaten a little, it grows and grows. So by the evening, I always sit there feeling really, really uncomfortable. And you know, like when your tummy is swollen, doesn't matter what you look like everywhere else you just feel really fat and bloated and heavy just sluggish so that's how I feel all the time because I've told you before I am not bothered about losing weight if I lost a stone I probably would be happy I wouldn't complain but if I didn't lose any weight I'm happy too it's just this belly honestly I just sometimes feel like take a pair of scissors and cut it out myself. Oh, it feels so much better after moaning to you. <laughs> you must be fed up. I just come here every Monday and whinge about something. But it's good to talk. Right, I think I'm gonna go now. Um, don't wanna depress you as well. Um, I will finish this vlog fear. fear. I will finish this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week and stay fabulous. Bye.